Our next guest is Heather Pagano, and she is a model. I love being a model. I think it's something that I, I, I feel like I've kind of found my niche with it. Um, I feel like it becomes really natural and I feel like kind of like really confident and in my element when I am doing modeling. And I think probably in high school, um, my friends were photography like people and they like needed subjects to like shoot. And that led me to um, volunteer to like help them with their projects. They were like, oh, like you're pretty good at this. Like you should consider doing this like more professionally. I'm like, uh, like no, like it's just kind of like just fun for me. But when I got to college, um, I entered like the school's fashion shows and that really helped me like understand like more about the industry and like kind of be like, okay, I want to take this more in, like professionally. Like it was cool in the school. <laughs> that rhymed, but I wanted to take it like to the next level. And I felt like I wasn't getting those opportunities like being confined like in school. So for me, it was like differentiating like hobby and career and I'm kind of doing both at the same time. But yeah, I started professional modeling probably, it's gonna be a year in March. So um, that's when I really started to like book things and like do things for like, um, compensation and like more on a serious level. Oh my goog, there she is. Are you recording? I'm recording right now. Can you tell us who you are? Can you tell us where we're going? Um, my name is Heather Vigano. Um, I'm 21 years old and we're about to go into Manhattan to do a like eight hour shoot. Um, it's gonna be wild. Unfortunately, I don't get taken seriously. It's definitely frustrating when people think that this is kind of like just something that a bragging right or like, you know, kind of like, oh, like you're just doing it because you like you want a nice Instagram or something stupid like that. Like that's only like the platform and like that's only the f facade. It's a serious industry. There's a lot that goes into it, um, a lot of moving parts. And um, like I said, just because it's not like your standard job, um, that societal norm job, I guess, um, people definitely look down on you for sure and like get a little bit um, hostile. I get paid. I have a call time. Um, just because it's not a conventional nine to five doesn't mean I'm not putting in work. Are there ever any good reactions? Uh, yeah, I would say that uh, there are good reactions even though they're kind of rare. Um, I definitely do receive some positive feedback for sure. Once I explain it, uh, they're kind of more open. Can I build your YouTube channel? YouTube yeah, you want to be on it? Yeah, yeah, I'm making a documentary. Really? On yeah. what? Hold it's on. on modeling. Really? How you doing? Yeah. My name is Jason. Nice to meet you. Good, this good. Is Jason, Jason. Yeah, really? I'm Jason, yeah. What a coincidence. Hold yeah, on, hold man, on, sis. You know how you chase your dreams? Sometimes you got to go with your gut feeling. That's it. Don't be content in life. You got to make progress. That's what she's doing right now. Really? We're going to model. Yeah, she's going to model right now. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. You'll make it. You got to think that you'll make it. Thank you. No problem, no problem. Thank you so much. You're welcome, you're welcome. But. You know, it's what I do and I'm really proud of it and I love it and I don't really care anymore. <laughs> Bottom line, I don't really care. So um, that's that. So we just arrived. We're like 10 minutes early, but I'm sure they're probably like setting up right now. Okay. Um, so I guess we should check it out. Yeah, you were here? Yeah. So we have a 12 o'clock call time and it's 11.54. Um, so we're all just kind of like hanging out. Good or bad? 
Like, is that does that usually happen or not usually? Sometimes. Okay. Usually, like, there will be, like, someone from the production team, like, already here, like, setting up. Okay. Um, but not the end of the world. Not the end of the world, yeah. okay. We'll make it. It'll still happen. Um, I would say the struggle would be in the beginning I felt like it was meeting new people for the first time because every time you go to a shoot there's always someone new it's kind of like think about going to like your first day of work like first day on the job and doing that over and over again like that anxiety of like meeting new faces and trying to like make uh, an image for yourself I guess I think another struggle is trying to be confident because it, you can't help but compare yourself to like the other girls and or guys because in the industry there are a lot of good looking people and it could be really intimidating but I think you just have to kind of stay true to who you are and you're just gonna kill it and I think if you have that mentality it's like it will come off to like everyone else like oh like she's really confident like and confidence I think is key and I think if you just have like a really good presence then um, you're gonna do really well. What do you hope viewers take away from this documentary? I think when people especially in this day and age with social media when they see a picture um, of this one standard photo um, I think there's a lot of judgment that comes with that um, you know people don't un they don't understand like the amount of time, effort, money, uh, scheduling, they don't understand like the moving parts. So for instance, like there's one picture with one model or however many models, um, but there's a hair person, a makeup person, uh, an assistant, assistant to the photographer, photographer, like designer. So there's a lot of things that go into this one picture it's a whole production and it's gonna be hard but the reward is it's I think it's worth it so yeah